Hey y'all and good morning. It's 5.53. I need to leave pretty much now for my trip, but just want to verify where I'm going, what time I'm going to be there, and all that kind of stuff. So, Marvin was supposed to go, and if you guys remember, I made a reservation for him, but he's not feeling well this morning, and I guess he feels like he doesn't have, he's not able to uh, um, travel. So, it is what it is. Now I've got to go. Hey y'all and good morning. It's 5.55 and I am headed to the airport because I'm going to see the grandkids and the kiddos and whoever else might be there. Made it through pre-check. Um, no problems. Avoided the really, really, really long line. Now I'm going upstairs. I'm in a bookstore. Love stopping in bookstores, but I gotta show you what they have over here. It says UFO caught on tape. And then somebody drew a UFO on a piece of paper and it's stuck to some tape. I don't know, I thought it was funny. There is a Starbucks in this airport, as in I think most airports. So I'm gonna stop there, and I think there's a Mac store in here now. There is a Mac store over there! Which is a super great thing because I actually forgot my lipstick, so I'm gonna go get some more. So, Mac hooked me up. I got Russian red and brick red lip liner, so I'm gonna have my color on my lips again. Made it on the plane. That's my seatmate. That's outside. Made it to Seattle and it's noticeably cooler but not cold. So that's good. Got a like a wrap with me, so I can bundle up if I need to. But I'm gonna go inside for my two hour layover. But you know, I mean, it could be worse. So in the um, flight safety manual, it had a thing about sub pop. This guy was wearing a sub pop shirt in the diagram. I'll insert the picture right now. And, and so you see in the picture, he even like had a tattoo on. I was like, what? Okay. But anyway, um, so they're doing renovations to this area of the airport. And so let's go try to find somewhere to eat. it to Kennewick but look looks like it's gonna rain at least it's not severe weather like in Dallas so I'm gonna get my rental car and head to see the kiddos so when we come to Washington I rent a hotel room because the grandkids love to swim and the water's cold <laughs> Back in the hotel after a very long and very tiring day, I got into Pasco at about 2.30 and uh, went to go get my car. 
I didn't bring a credit card because Marvin wasn't with me and Marvin was the one that was going to rent the car. And I was like, oh, that's okay. I have a debit card with me. Well, they don't take debit cards. So I had to go through this whole thing. I had to go to another car rental place to get the car rented. And I'm like, really? Like, not everybody has a credit card. But anyway, whatever. So I get the car rented, which is fine. I go to, and I turn around. I'm like, okay, I still don't see my luggage. And they're like, oh, well, I guess go to the Alaska, you know, counter and find out. So I go to the Alaska counter and you, you probably guessed it. They lost my luggage. So I was like, what? And he goes, yeah, let me track it for you. So after some, some little bit of time at the counter, he finds that it's still in Seattle somewhere. And I'm like, well, do you know where? Like, are you sure it's in Seattle? He's like, I'm pretty sure. And I'm like, well, at least pretty sure it's better than not sure at all. So um, he said it would be back probably by this afternoon or this evening. And I said, great. He goes, do you want it delivered? Do you want to pick it up? I said, delivered. I mean, I'm not the one that lost it, right? You deliver it. So they call about 730 and he says, oh, we have your luggage. I said, fantastic. Bring it. Bring it on. And he says, oh, uh, they, they, they already stopped the deliveries though. You, okay. So he said, I said, well, what time did the delivery start in the morning? He says, nine o'clock. I said, I have a soccer game to get to at nine o'clock. That's why I'm here for the weekend. And he goes, oh, so my daughter and I had to go and get the luggage from there. And as we pull up, there's a fire truck, there's an ambulance. There's just like stuff happening. And you never did see anything, did you? No. So she didn't say anything. So we're not really sure what happened, but that's okay. So now we're going to get ready for bed. We've had an eventful day. I've had an eventful day. She got some new shoes. Look y'all. These are super cute. Aren't these so cute? They were on clearance. They're 33 dollars $36 after tax. So bought them with my tip money. So treat yourself, you know, she is a manager and marketing manager influencer mar and marketing influencer at indaba coffee in spokane washington so um yeah so anyway it was it's been a great day but i'm gonna go to get ready for bed because um we have another day outside and always when i'm outside it just makes me more tired because my allergies and all that kind of stuff start happening oh my goodness uh i am tired oh sorry I'm so tired. Are you yawning now too? Okay. Don't forget guys, be kind to others and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.